Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be going through the introduction of HSS, High Speed Surface Machining. HSS is a modular in Solid Camp that allows you to work specifically on chosen surfaces only. In other words, you can go into your part and work specifically on a specified surface only. That's all you have to do, simply choose the surface that you want to work on. If we take a look inside our HSS modular, you'll see that we have a whole list of different type of strategies to work within HSS. All these strategies are listed exactly on the top over here and just you have to simply pick the strategy that you want to work with. For example, we can pick the strategy of parallel cuts with linear. Now if we take a look at the way our window is actually built over here, all we have to do is simply go down one after the other to pick each field that is needed to be done. For instance, we start out with our coordinate system. We choose our coordinate system that we want to work with. The next thing we do is simply go down to our next field, which is our geometry. In this field, we choose the actual surface that we have to work on, such as our drive surface, by simply defining our drive surface. Within this field, we also have offsets from our drive surface. We also have a series of different options, whether we want to extend our drive surface, uh, whether we want to get to the end of the su drive surfaces, all these are within the geometry area. The next thing we do is we simply go down to our next field, which is our tool area. Over here we simply choose a tool that we need, and we have all the parameters that we need as far as our spin finish, our feeds, and so on and so forth, including our tool coolant. Now, the next thing we do is we have our levels area. In our levels area, we have important features such as to retract to in our Z level, but not only into our Z level can we retract, we can also retract in our Y level, in our Y direction, or in our X direction. And we also have all the rest of them, whether the distance and so on and so forth. All those parameters are within our levels area. Our next field is our toolpath parameters. In our toolpath parameters, we have all the issues of our tolerances, our maximum step over, any our chaining tolerances, all these features are within the toolpath parameters under surface quality. In addition to surface quality, we also have a tab for sorting where we can say we want to work in zigzag, if we want to work in uh, one way or in spiral motion, all these are within the sorting area of our toolpath parameters. Now our next field is our link area. In our link area, we have the control of whether we, how we want to go in, how in our from our first cut, how we want to leave our last cut. We also have how we want to go over from one gap to the next gap. All that is in this area. In addition, we also have the area of how we want to move between passes, whether we want to go direct or whatever cho way we choose to do that. In addition, at the end, we also have links between passes, different levels, how we want to go between one level to the next level. In our next field, which is actually a subfield of our links, we actually can say how we want to have our lead in and lead out parameters, whether we want to have it in tangential arc or reversed arc, all these are available over here. In addition, we also have complete control of our arcs, how we want to go into arcs, at what percentage of the tool, at what angle of the tool, all these are within the default lead in out tab. Now in our next area we have our gouge check. In our gouge check when we start off from the very top we actually have first of all our clearance from our holder clearance and we can also see that in the diagram that we have here on the side. This will say basically how much how far away do I want to keep my holder from my gouge area whether it be a drive surface or a check surface. Same thing with my arbor clearance and the tool shaft clearance. All that is controlled over here. Now you'll note that we also have several gouge options. Not just one, we have four different gouge options. Now to 
we have the option of also enabling and disabling the gouge and we can have like for instance our first gouge checking whether the holder goes into the drive surface and our second gouge we can have uh, checking whether on a different surface how to react on a different surface with a tool tip hits that particular surface and we have different types of gouges to set them any way we want to have those gouge checks uh, set for different areas on the part and also how to react on those areas as well. Our next area is our roughing area. In our roughing area we have the option of doing rough cuts before we get to our finished surface such as in our multi passes we have control over here whether we want to go um, how many passes we actually want to go down as we go or from the side how many passes we want to go in from the side as well as rotate if we want to rotate our tool path around the surface as well. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.